But as that drug addict was sitting across from me talking, I felt compelled to pull my face up and look into his eyes. And I think it was the tone of his voice. There was a tone to his voice that I had never heard before. And and it sounded, what he what he was saying sounded authentic. And I felt like there was really something that this guy had. And I remember pulling my face up and looking that drug addict in the eye. And I remember for the first time, I looked in the eyes of a clean drug addict and seeing the light. And I had never seen the light in the eyes of any of the drug addicts I'd ever used with, ever. And I remember looking in that drug addict's eyes, seeing the light and thinking to myself, you know what? I don't know what this guy's got, but I want a piece of the action. I want a piece of this. And I remember saying to myself that day, I will do whatever I have to do to be the one. I'd heard some of the old timers sit in meetings and they'd say, you know what? Out of the 10 people in this meeting, only one of us is going to make it. And I remember thinking, well, you guys are fucked. <laughs> hey, you got it. I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm going to be the one. I'm the one. And, um, and, um, and, and I didn't like it when they said that because I wanted everybody in there to make it, you know? Um, but they said it and they said that stuff a lot. And, and I just, every time they said it and every time I heard it, I became more and more determined that I was going to be the one. I actually have come to find out that I'm kind of a rare breed in Narcotics Anonymous. <clears throat> and by that, what I mean is that since my first day in a Narcotics Anonymous meeting, I have never used again. Never have used again. So, you know, the message about that is not that there's something wrong with people who relapse. I think it takes whatever it takes for every one of us. And for me, um, once I heard the message, there was, there was no looking back for me. And I think that the message that I get to carry to newcomers is not a message about relapse, but a message that, you know what? Relapse is not a prerequisite for long-term recovery. You can come to Narcotics Anonymous and stay clean from the gate. And the way that you do that is you do not pick up and use no matter what happens, no matter what.